I'm Jeeva. And thank you for watching this presentation on my GRE online training. I have been training students for GRE verbal and analytical sections since the last 20 years. Students have attained excellent scores by practicing and implementing the strategies I have taught in my classes. With the intention of reaching a wider audience, I have compiled a set of my classroom lectures. These lectures are exactly what I do in class in order to get the optimum scores for my students. I'm hoping test takers globally will find my online classes useful in enhancing their test taking abilities and maximizing their scores. My lectures are a compilation of both theory classes and practice exercises. Students have found the analytical writing section on GRE to be the most challenging. I have taken great pains in my analytical writing classes to make this section as painless as possible for the students. The analytical writing consists of issue and argument tasks, which I have dealt exhaustively in my lectures. I have laid the foundation for critical reasoning, which is the basis for writing both the essays. A thorough analysis of argument and issue topics, along with a very simple and workable template to write the essays, make my lectures on analytical writing both effective and practical for students. Following my techniques, I guarantee students can get a respectable score in the section. The verbal reasoning section on GRE today has become more of a logic-based test than merely a test on vocabulary. Keeping this in mind, my lectures concentrate on building reasoning, critical reading, and vocabulary skills. Techniques to improve critical reading are taught in both reading comprehension and sentence and paragraph completion questions. Every practice exercise is a combination of logical reading and vocabulary building sessions. These lectures can help a student learn a large number of the GRE high frequency vocabulary. How to interpret the information given in the questions, how to add up the clues to get the right answer, what techniques to use in order to save time, are some of the skill sets taught in these lectures of mine. I hope students who are not able to reach me in my class will find my online lectures equally useful to enhance their scores. I wish each and every student of mine all the best and hope success crowns your endeavors. These are high frequency GRE words and you can do these, these exercises that I'm doing for vocabulary by themselves and pick up these words because they'll help you in any other questions that come on the GRE. When you use 100 words in the place of 10 words, your speech can be said to be prolix, verbose or wordy. Where you have to say something in 10 words, you end up saying it in three words, your speech is laconic. It is terse, pithy, concise, succinct, short and to the point. So a person who is mendacious is therefore deceitful and dishonest. People who are mendacious, for example, we talk about a mendacious businessman. A mendacious businessman is many times known for his duplicity. So when you want to get information, when you want to generalize, that must be appropriate or applicable to the situation. You cannot take it for granted what is working there will be applicable in some other situation. So hasty generalization is a common error. Therefore, unless and until the argument gives us more factual information about whether Nature Store has really done some good marketing in this town, whether the residents are willing to spend more money for health conscious foods, the argument would not be logical. Then the body of the essay, instead of dividing it into two broad components, because here you have equal reasons for agreeing and equal reasons for disagreeing. In the writing of this type of essay, the body must be more focused on your opinion. So therefore, I would agree with the statement to a large extent, discuss all the reasons for doing it by doing what? By giving what? Examples. Studying various cities, looking at 
the different aspects of the city that indicate such certain major characteristic of that particular society of people living in that city. And therefore, using this as an example for putting forward my opinion. So, let's once again summarize what we have learned so far. The sentence equivalence text completion questions require us to learn to read critically. The intention is to use our reasoning to be able to pinpoint the information, gather the information from the questions and go for the correct word. Comparatively, he says, few rock musicians are willing to laugh at themselves. This is describing the rock musicians. What is this willingness to laugh your, at yourself? We have looked at it as being humble and modest. And there you see you immediately catch option F, which is humility. So very perfectly with that context. So these are called as deductive arguments. Deductive arguments have only two components, which is what I gave you. The C plus the P. What is the C plus the P? The claim or conclusion plus the premises. The arguments that come on critical reasoning, on GRE analytical writing, as well as many times in their short passages, are not so simple. The arguments that you get on GRE are mostly what we call as inductive. B is a very generalized statement. A is more specific to this situation. If the Kawonga lions that have been raised in captivity and were not taught by their parents to indulge in this aggressive play, when you release them in the wild, they're not able to hunt. It proves conclusively because they did not do that. They did not get the training in their childhood. They are not able to hunt. That so the difficulty level of a reading comprehension passage is not decided by the passage. And what is it decided on the questions? My name is Manuel Anthony. I'm a proud student of Jiva's Academy. I would like to thank uh, Jiva's Coaching Center for uh, helping, helping me score such a good score in both uh, the GRE and IELTS exams. Jiva ma'am uh, helped me. Uh, she, she, she was... Uh, she offered us personal guidance on strategies for the, the analytical and the verbal sections and uh, that was very useful in getting a good score. So. To share my experience uh, about GRE, uh, I got a score of 322, 157 in English, uh, 165 in Max. Uh, I would first of all I would like to thank Jiva Madam and with that uh, strategies you can solve any question and so that was very uh, useful for me to write the exam actually and the videos of vocabulary in an uh, in a short in a period of 20 minutes you can get uh, what we say you can get around 50 words where you you learn the words and also you can remember the words for longer duration our topics madam has explained me the our topics very strategically so, so on the whole i would say that uh, if you go with uh, jiva's coaching and a bit of uh, ets official guide it would be very much sufficient to score a score of more than uh, 320 or 325 I took my GRE uh, coaching from Jeevas and I'd really like to say that it was extremely helpful. The English taken by Jeeva ma'am and they really helped me through this.